Hello and welcome to uh, Metta Sutta, verse 8. Mittanja sabbalokasmin manasam bhavaye aparimanam uddhamadho chatriyancha asambhadam averam asapattam I will now share the text with you. Here we are. I'll read it again. Mittanja sabhalokasmin manasam bhavaye aparimanam uddhamadho chatriyancha asambhadam averam asapattam. The word metta most commonly used in its noun form, where it is a feminine noun ending in a long a, ah, metta. It's also an adjective, and when it's an adjective, it behaves like any other adjective of the short a ah, declension. So if you do something with a friendly mind, and some people sign themselves off in their messages, as uh, with metena, look at this, metena, chitena, you know, with kind regards, with a friendly mind. In this verse, in the first word, that's how metta is used. It's used as an adjective and it qualifies manasam. So, metancha manasam bhavaye bhavaye let him cultivate metancha manasam a good-willed mind, a friendly mind. And the, the, the last, the, the second pada of the first verse um, is a repeat from, from the previous verse, Manasam Bhavaye Aparimanam. Let, let him develop, or let him cult cultivate the a boundless mind. So, this is a Metancha Aparimanancha Manasam, you know, a, a friendly and a boundless mind, or a boundless friendly mind. Sabbalokasmin. Again, we have sabba being used as the first element of a compound and therefore undeclined in its stem form. So, sabbaloka, the whole word sabbalokasmin, which is the locative. It, it would have been equally correct to say sabbaloke, sabbaloke, sabbalokasmin. These are alternative forms of the of the locative. So Bhavaye let him cultivate Metancha Manasam a meta mind, a, a goodwill mind, a parimanam without limit, boundless, sabalokasmin that's for the whole world, towards the whole world. At the first bada of the second line, Uddhamadhochatriyancha. These are three indeclinables, simply meaning Uddham, above, Adho, below, and Tiryan means um, across, you know, horizontally, so up, down, horizontally, meaning all, effectively, it's a metaphorical way of saying it in all, all directions. By the way, um, Tiryan, Tiryan, it's cognate with the word trans, meaning across, crosswise. Asambadam averam asapattam. Asambadam, there's the root band, which is cognate with our English word to bind. If you put a sum in front of it, sum band, 
that normally means the normal meaning is to, you know, to bind together. That's the meaning in Sanskrit. It's got a more specialized meaning in Pali, and it's got the sense of being constrained or crowded, like thronged with people so you can't move, so your way is blocked. So a sambada is where your sambada there is where your your confinement or, or an obstacle because your way is blocked by, by by throngs could be throngs of people, throngs of anything, just you're blocked, you're confined, you're hemmed in. That's the sambada. So if your mind is asambadha, it is unconfined, free of obstacles. That's asambadham. And this is an adjective. And it qualifies manasam, of course. So there, there are five adjectives here qualifying the mind. It's got to be mittan, aparimanam, asambadham, averam, asapattam. All of those five qualities uh, that you should develop in the mind. Asambadham unconfined or without obstacle, a verum, you know the um, the root vera, not the root, sorry, the word vera, meaning meaning hatred, uh, nahi verani verena sammanti, no, hatreds do not cease by hatred, so vera, and a vera is without hatred, and asapattam, um, in Sanskrit, a patna, Pali patta, it means somebody in charge, lord or chief. Your sampatta, sorry, sapatta, is like a co lord or a co chief or somebody who has a co chief. And it's used in, um, in a, a pejorative sense. It's, it's used you near know, there can't be two people in charge around here. I'm in charge around here, not you. So you feel that you're sapatta, you've got somebody else who's trying to be in charge when you want to be in charge. It's a sapatta. If your mind is a sapattam, remember manasam is a, is a neuter noun. If your manasam is a sapattam, it means your mind is not clouded or disturbed by these thoughts of rivalry, you know. He's not in charge, I am, or, you know, I don't want him to be better than me. So if you've got a, a, sam, a sapatta manasam, you know, you don't mind who's in charge. You know, you don't mind if somebody's better than you. You, you, you. You've risen above these thoughts of rivalry, who's in charge and who's best. So I will read this verse out again, twice. Firstly, sharing the, the text, the screen with the text and then, then without. Mittancha sabbalokas min manasam bhavaye aparimanam uddham dhocha tiriyancha asambadham averam asapattam I'm sure, sorry. And once more, Mittancha sabbalokasmin manasam bhavaye aparimanam uddham dhocha triyancha asambadam averam asapattam. That concludes this video.